Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, announced plans to build a second fab in Arizona in December 2022, raising its investment in the U.S. to 40 billion U.S. dollars. Having long operated locally, TSMC's move shocked the world, hinting at a change in its global strategy. TVBS commentator Wen Qiyu invited the author of Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology, Chris Miller, and the former Deputy Secretary General of Taiwan's National Security Council, Philip Yang, to delve deeper into the global chain of semiconductors and Taiwan, particularly TSMC's unique position within. The most advanced chip today are produced with a very complex international supply chain stretching from Europe, United States, Japan, to Taiwan. And today in Taiwan, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, is the world's largest chip maker and also the producer of the world's most advanced processor chips, which gives Taiwan a position of unique importance. From day one that Maurice Chen was the, the man behind the TSMC until his retirement. So uh, but the, all the way the Taiwanese government actually have a strong and vigorous support of the semiconductor industries. You know, some people in Taiwan actually worry that TSMC's recent uh, announcement of the $40 mm. billion dollar investment in Arizona will hollow out Taiwan's semiconductor industry. Um, tell us what is the current debate and Mm. Any validity to those conversations? I remember that uh, Sec uh, Secretary of State uh, Bl uh, Blinken mentioned that uh, the concentration of chip making in Taiwan, particularly in the advanced chips uh, made by TMCC, accounted more than 90% of the market, uh, has become already a national security risk for the United States. So uh, a lot of people worry about Another effect, so-called de-Taiwanization or qi Taiwan hua, okay, and that because United States on one hand have a you know tech war, uh, export and the product control against China, particularly on the advanced uh, chips and technology and equipments. On the other hand, worry about the uh, domestic uh, chip making uh, uh, resilience or the uh, uh, supply chain resilience. And that's the reason why that uh, hoping that uh, uh, from TSMC to Sanzone and other factory can invest uh, uh, factories in the United States. But on the other hand, if you look at where most of TSMC's investment is going today, it's happening still in Taiwan. Uh, and when you look at the most advanced technology uh, that will be rolled out first in Taiwan. So I don't think the evidence is really suggestive of any sort of large scale de-Taiwanization. And if anything, I think Taiwan is going to play an even more important role in the chip industry in 10 years time uh, than it does today. That's certainly where companies are, are betting with both their statements, but also their investment dollars. Factoring Taiwan's geopolitical challenges and global supply chains, the future of semiconductor production in Taiwan is sure to continue to be a main focal point for the world. Wen Qiyu, Vivian Xiao, TVBS World Taiwan.